Hello everyone, and welcome to the co-creation tutorial. To start, tap on co-sketch rooms. You can edit your name and avatar color when in the lobby. Once you've edited your avatar, you can create a new room. For this tutorial, we'll name it Co-Creation. Here it is. You can see the room has been added to the lobby and trigger select to load. When it says ready, you can enter the room. However, if you want to import one of your sketches to share it with the team, you can just drag and drop on the other side. I use the grab function there. You can tap on it to load. Now it's ready. If there's an unnecessary room that you don't need, you can drag it and drop it in the trash can below. I'll go ahead and enter the room. And in this scene, you can see others are already in the session. This split view illustrates each user's independent movement in the room. Zooming in and out does not affect others' point of view. If you navigate to this section of the menu, you can see how many people are in the session. Here, we have four people, a junior designer, a manager, an intern, and a senior designer. You can also toggle your microphone mode. You can block the sketch and prevent people from editing anything inside of it. You can shut the sketch down, which will kick everyone out. And you can block new people from joining. Currently, I'm the king of the session, but I can make anyone king by tapping on the king icon right here. This will allow them to control the session. For example, the king or queen controls environment and lighting. The layer menu is located in the main menu. The layer at the top is my own. It has my name on it and the number one. I can make as many layers as I want by pressing the plus button in the bottom left. I can create geometry in these layers and apply it by dropping it in. I can edit the visibility and I can lock it. I can also grab and delete. The rest of these are common layers that were used to produce the original geometry. So for example, the reference images. As well as ortho's surface in the sketch itself. The ones at the bottom belong to the other people in the co-sketch. Notice the visibility and lock are grayed out. That means they have control over their own layers. Another UX workflow feature in co-creation is if you go to the co-creation menu and tap on individuals present in the session, your view will fly to their point of view. This allows you to see what everyone is doing in the session without physically moving yourself around the entire room.
In this shot, you can see everyone has their own point of view, and zooming in and out does not affect others' points of view. Each person is working a separate task in one scene, demonstrating multitasking teamwork on the exact same file. Here you can see designers and engineers collaborating to evaluate trunk dimensions in a crossover. This next view illustrates interior ergonomics and how VR enables design at one-to-one -one scale for human factors testing before physical prototyping. Here we can see an organized design review with an entire design team. You can see the design intern is presenting a project to her manager and senior designer. The team members can make notes as they go. Finally, the intern shows the product in a retail space. These were the basic features of how you can utilize co-creation to create, collaborate, and review your designs with the rest of your team, regardless of location.